We laid on the grass in our backyard looking up at the stars as we often did on warm summer nights. Her head rested upon my chest as we played connect the dots to see who could make the other one laugh or smile with the silliness and beauty of the shapes we created with our imagination. She almost always won. She had the creativity of a child who was never given boundaries and I loved her for that. But something was different about that night. She didn't have the same spark in her eyes and when I asked her what was wrong, she said that the more she looked into the night sky, the more she felt insignificant. With all the bright stars and planets in an almost infinite universe, how could she be special? I turned away, looking back towards the stars and smiled. I pulled her hand to my heart so she could feel the quake in my chest and the rattling of my ribcage so she would know that what I was about to say was true. We live in a universe that was formed almost 14 billion years ago. And in that moment of creation, the cosmos were filled with blinding explosions and unbearable temperatures the likes of which none of us can even imagine. And from all that instability and pressure came friction and heat, like two celestial bodies making love and giving birth to stars. While large comets like divine fireworks continued to crash into the night, creating chaos as the universe expanded outward. It was as if she was taking a deep breath before blowing birthday glitter across the emptiness of space and swirling life into the shapes of galaxies of which we are just one among over 500 billion that we know of and 10 billion years passed before the Milky Way galaxy took its first breath and another 100 million years before our sun found a way to spark itself alive setting off a chain of events causing cosmic collisions and explosions that created planets one of which we now call Earth over time, asteroids introduced new elements into our environment, turning the sky blue with white clouds that poured tears of possibility onto the Earth's surface, allowing this planet, our planet, to create life. And from those single-celled life forms, civilizations were born. We learned how to hunt and create fire. We invented symbols to communicate, forming different languages as tribes separated and eventually fought and conquered each other. People lost their lives and their histories as villages were destroyed. And, and kings, kings and queens rose to power as they occupied new lands, creating empires that argued over which name to call their god. Religions were formed and laws were written in stone to keep its citizens in line. But those stones eroded over time from the wind and rain of angry people who would not be controlled so easily. Some rebelled, while others fled, discovering new ways to navigate this world and the seas until eventually their ships made their way to the shores of America, where they were met by the tribes who thrived there. And this land, our land, beautiful in its creation, but scarred by brutal wars and violent takeovers, was built on the backs of immigrants who now live together. Still trying to find peace among the shadowed valleys and sun-colored mountain peaks that scraped the belly of the sky red at sunset. Over time, these colonies became communities that grew into cities with tall buildings and bustling businesses that needed employees to help sell its commodities, like the groceries it harvested from our fertile lands. So people filled those jobs to pay rent and feed their hungry family, Which is exactly what Michael was doing as he was leaving work. At the same time, Christina was walking to her car with a paper bag brimming to the top with food to make dinner. Maybe it was the raindrops that weakened the brown paper. Or maybe it was fate. But as the bag unexpectedly ripped, a can of sweet corn rolled towards Michael as he rushed over to help her gather her items. He picked up the can and as he handed it to her, their eyes met. He said hello. She said thank you. And in that instant, they felt the cosmos explode like the Big Bang starting all over again, only to collapse into that single moment when their eyes met and stars lit up in their irises like love at first sight. And even though they aren't together today, out of the 500 billion seeds he would create over his lifetime, and the 300,000 eggs she would carry within her, when they made love on their wedding night, out of the infinite possibilities of combinations, the universe conspired to find the perfect two to come together to create you. And if just one comet, one king, one queen, or one single solitary cell had altered its course, you wouldn't be here with me looking up at the night sky wondering if your life had meaning. The truth is, the stars literally had to align perfectly just so you could be here asking me a question that has an answer in which the odds can't even begin to be calculated, but was anything but an accident. So the next time you don't feel special, remember this. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. So the lifeblood that is in you right now has been around for almost 14 billion years, just waiting to find the right time to experience itself through your eyes. 
So when you look up at the night sky, you are merely seeing yourself and the history of the universe in all its infinite beauty waving back at you with a twinkle in its eyes because it knows that it created something so unique it will never be duplicated again in another 14 billion years. And that is just how special you are. Thank you.